impeach Trump. Impeach Trump. Yeah, right. They not going to do that. They feel exactly the way he do. Why y'all think they voted him in? They not going to impeach no Donald Trump. Hey, Trump out here waking Negroes up, boy. Hey, he can wake motherfucking millions of Negroes up. Because all I got to do is say, see how they feel? See? Because I've been, what he can do in one speech, I couldn't do in 10 years to the black community. He out here waking the black, Donald Trump waking up the black community. <laughs> hey, they ain't going to impeach Donald Trump. Why y'all think they put it, they voted him in because he doing what they can't say out loud. You know what I'm saying? They can't really necessarily say that out loud. They talk like that when ain't nobody around at the dinner table in the, in the, uh, be writing shit all in the bathrooms at work. <laughs> we talking shit about niggas in Mexicans and they ain't there about it, putting all that uh, devil worshiping symbols up and all that KKK shit up and all of that. Y'all motherfuckers out here crazy, man. They not going to impeach Donald Trump. The KKK, them is cronies, them is buddies. David Duke, he be talking to them, Putin, the Russians. Y'all think they, they cool. They the same people. They just making sure everybody stay in their motherfucking place. You see what I'm saying? They not going to impeach Donald Trump, yo. Donald Trump, I'm telling you now, what he can say in a few speeches, he can wake millions up, something I couldn't do in 10 years, yo. Shit. I knew, hey, yes, and niggas ain't got no snap cards since he been in. Motherfuckers ain't got no snap cards. Niggas walking around here hungry, nigga. That's real, though. That's real, nigga. For real. But at the same time, you see how they feel about you, black man and black woman, nigga. They don't want you here. He done been saying, kick these niggas up out of here. We don't want these niggas over here. You see what I'm saying? He, he straight up, he the only president to come on there and just be real and say it like it is he the only president to come on there and say it like it is and i can respect that he don't gotta necessarily like me but i can respect the man that come on you know his platforms or whatever and say what he gotta say i don't want nobody that's gone you know like eddie griffith say you know walk up to me and say nigger or you know what i'm saying just just don't even say nothing but feel a certain way about me. You know what I'm saying? I would have for somebody to straight up tell me out. To tell me straight out. You know what I'm saying? I can respect that. Whether he a redneck or whatever. I can respect them. Y'all like me. We don't like y'all. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But they not going to impeach Donald Trump, man. Y'all niggas better be for real. Nigga, any of them other candidates looking small, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We were just talking about the reparations early. You think they going to vote one of them in and he's saying what they want to say. Y'all think they going to vote that lady in and that, that little, uh, the little Chinese dude or whatever. They not going to let them in. They not, not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And then they sitting up there talking about reparations. Any kind of reparations to them is no we not voting for you or whatever. Because they is, I'm going to be real, man. It's about 400, 300 million of them motherfuckers over here. See, they'll let them in. They won't let none of your brothers from the sisters, uh, brothers and sisters from the islands in Africa come over. You know what I'm saying? Because they always, they can outvote y'all niggas. They going to outvote y'all niggas. Because, you know, it's 40, 50 million to us. So regardless of what we saying, eh, you know, they all on the same team. 99% of them going to vote. For Trump, the little two, three, four, five percent that you know believe in our cause and you know think we deserve reparations and shit like that, you know they have a vote with us. But I'm telling you, they not trying to see no more Obamas, and I ain't either. But they ain't trying to see no more brown faces, black faces. They not trying. That's what the Make America Great about. You know what I'm saying? Make America Great about. That's what that's about. But they not going to impeach no Donald Trump, nigga. For real. And it's like the the blacks in America 
and the whites in America got an uneasy truce. <laughs> Nigga, it's like that movie, uh, Best of Enemies. Y'all see that shit? It's like, hey, Best of Enemies and shit. Because they'll fight, you know. He'll say we when it come to, you know, we got to go to war and be all we can be. He'll say we then when it could come to defending the country. You know what I'm saying? But when we, you know, we in the normal uh, 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 civilization or whatever, uh, uh, we them, we they, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Nigga and all of this. Any other day, but when it comes to fighting for the country, it's we and us together. You know what I'm saying? Liberty and justice for all. It's all of that then. It's all of that then. But when we in the hood, it's y'all, them, and uh, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's no unity. You know what I'm saying? They're just like them brothers that went over there and fought. Come right back and you will see them in their uniforms. Strange fruit. Strange fruit. That's real, yo. They not going to impeach Donald Trump. The, the North... I mean, the South still don't like the North. The North really don't like the South, but the South, you, you know, uh, Europeans, they more turned up, you know what I'm saying? They way more turned up and violent and all of that. You know what I mean? It's violent, you know what I mean? They way more. But, so, but they'll both team up to jump on your head. Don't think they won't. You see what I'm saying? Don't think they won't. And I was looking at that movie, Red Dawn. And, you know, with a little choop choop now, that's what I call a little choop choop. Little choop choop now, them uh, Japan and all of it come up out the sky and shit. And I said, look, just like that movie, uh, Best of Enemies. Man, that be about the only time I ever fight with the white boy, nigga. Bet not no motherfucking body ever try to put their hands on the United Snakes, nigga. My babies is over here, bitch. I will fight with the white boy on that, nigga. And you already scared of him, don't you? That's why our brothers and sisters join it. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe our brothers and sisters should join it. But I know that's one of the reasons because they families and shit over here. You know what I'm saying? And I done asked them before about that. And that's what it be about. You see what I'm saying? We built this motherfucker too, black people. You see what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? But they don't want niggas here. And if he, he got enough power, and just like he loaded the Mexicans up on the motherfucking buses, nigga, he'll load your ass up on the bus and take your ass straight to the airport and say, get on it. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. You see what? That's real. That's real, nigga. You, all right. Try me and see. And then I heard somebody say that slavery was harder, I think, in the islands than it was in North America. Is you a fool? Do you see who rule in the world, nigga? It ain't the little... Edward Siaga was an American, nigga. He, was in the, he did more damage under Siaga down there in Jamaica than any of them. But the American white man ruled the world, nigga. Try me see. Y'all niggas in England and shit, y'all damn near burned down England. They just told Tariq he couldn't come over there with their head and colors fire shit. They damn near burned down England. They got them rioting motherfucking the islands and shit. I dare, don't do it. But you see, we only... You can't do that shit in America, nigga. They come out with the motherfucking tanks and shit, nigga. Y'all know America is the bully on the motherfucking block, nigga, so don't get that shit twisted. And then you little stupid Arab, Arabs, the nigga, the little choop choop that uh, Dennis Rodman was hanging with, man, don't, don't even try it, motherfucker. You know better than you can try to push that motherfucking button, nigga. You know better because if you even shoot that shit over here, if it don't cause just mass, just where it just like on Terminator where the fire coming, it just wipe everything out. Man, I'm telling you, if that shit 
if you point that shit over here again, man, this motherfucking man gonna come over there, man, and you do not, because they work like the Terminators, nigga. You don't want that, man. The only motherfucker that the American white man is scared of is the motherfuckers, the, the, the people that's the, been under him the longest, and that's the Negroes. He ain't scared of no Frenchmen. He ain't scared of no Germans. He ain't scared of no Russians. He ain't scared of no motherfucking Britons. Even though he gonna protect that, that's his mama. But he ain't scared of no motherfucking niggas. In Africa, he ain't scared of nowhere. He ain't scared of none of y'all motherfuckers. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just being real. The only motherfucker that he feel is the motherfucking people that's done been on, under him the longest. And that's the African Americans. We the only motherfuckers that can beat his ass. And we scared too. <laughs> we scared too. But, nigga, he know, we know what he know. So, and we done been up under him the longest now. So he, we best the enemies. That's just like that movie. We got, we in the uneasy truce with his ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. And I'm telling you, this is it. Ain't no more motherfucking regimes ruling over our people no more. This shit is with this uh American white boy, nigga. That's real. It is right there. Any of you other motherfuckers ever gonna think you gonna rule over the Africans in America? You gotta, you done lost your mind, fool ass nigga. We'll run any of y'all motherfuckers in the ground, nigga. We got more military tactics than any of y'all motherfuckers. So, but we focused over here. You know what I'm saying? We try to calm the beast down you know what i'm saying because i'm telling you, you piss this motherfucker off nigga he will push that button nigga that's real that's real that's real don't no motherfucking country want it with the united snakes nigga that nigga the bully he debo he that motherfucker is super debo i'm telling you this the belly of the beast you nigga i'm telling you don't come over here slipping nigga you gonna end up in one of them garbage cans nigga like on, uh, uh, why well, ain't he gonna go there? But they not gonna impeach Donald Trump. These people out here feel the exact same way he do. I see y'all next time. Jump out.